Always fun. Crazy. It's painful, but it's wonderful. What is the name? It's Roycey Unchained. Speaking of Unchained, how about those Vikings yesterday, Patrick? They nearly uh, blew it. Those were two wild uh, football games we had over the weekend here, yes. were they not? Wow. And, uh, yeah, uh, that finish is almost historic. Have they? I wonder if they've ever given away a lead like that in such a short time. Probably not in their entire history, right? That yeah, they would I mean, give it up in, uh, what, 37 seconds or whatever it was? No, I, I think mean, it was like it in was, 20 it was uh, pretty amazing, to say the least. And uh, and then to come back and uh, get the defense to get its head back in the game and uh, start sacking Caleb Williams and putting pressure on him and win the game was uh, pretty phenomenal. And we can uh, our, our Darnold panic can uh, be put in hold here for a little while. They, they took Jefferson away from him, so he threw it to the other guys, and that worked pretty good. Having Hawkinson back has helped, right? Yes. A uh, wide receiver that uh, huge now, and of course. Uh, meanwhile, we want to figure out what Johnny Munt was thinking of there when he ran up and ran into the ball. Uh, that was uh, that was extremely weird. First onside kick that's uh, been recovered under the new rules, but also only the tenth of the year. Teams don't do it anymore because it's no. the, it's it's almost impossible yes. because you can. Because you got to tell them if you're going to kick it long. So they put 11 guys within eight yards of the line of scrimmage there. So, uh, I mean, uh, the line, the 10 yard line. So uh, you got to really screw up. But it is, it's always interesting to see football players, no matter at what level, Start panicking on onside kicks when it's when the ball does a little something funny, does it? Ah, they're all yeah, no matter. But, just, but in his case, just back off. It went yes. eight yards. If the I Bears picked th- up, it, and it, it was almost stopped by that. I don't think it was yeah. going to make ten. Do you? No, and, I don't. And, yeah, it was. Uh, uh, but it was uh, it was pretty funny. And uh, then they then they let them. What do they? I mean, right away, the first couple of plays, they get nothing against them. You figure, well, they're gonna have to try a seventy-yard field goal, and uh, then you let them, then you let them complete that pass. I don't know. I leave that game. Uh, I remain conflicted on Caleb Williams. Uh, Do you? Okay. Man, he's an ass. He's he's got some ability. And that throw he made down the sideline to Swift was unbelievable. That's one of the best throws I've ever seen. Yep. Uh, un, under pressure and just floats it in there to him on a dead run. It was fantastic. Uh, Craig had this stat again today, though, and he, it, we also had an end game. How weird is a quarterback who passes better? When he's blitzed, than when he doesn't. But when he doesn't get blitzed, it's uh, it's been that way for him. I think his stats were that way all year, right? And then again yesterday. Yeah, they, Although they didn't. Were yesterday. They did. They didn't blitz him much at all. So, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it is it is really weird. Uh, he's a, he's an ad. I think if they get smarter and surround him with better yeah. uh, offensive linemen, he'll be pretty good. I, I, the, the the physical ability is there, but right now he's he's learning. That's for sure, because it, it's easier to learn when you're with a good team than a mediocre one that's got all the issues that team does and all the chaos. I mean, Caleb Williams for five weeks now. The leading question has been: Do you think your coach is going to get fired? And what do you think your offense? You know, he's asked all these questions about stuff that's going on, the chaotic things that are going on with the Bears. When you're starting off as a number one draft quarterback, you got enough issues. You don't need to worry about what the coaching staff's going to look like. Yeah, and I think his coach will be dismissed here. So yes. I, I, they're not a very – I think they've got talent, the Bears do. They're not a very disciplined team, but I think that no. can be changed. So Yes, uh, the trouble now, though, if you're Caleb Williams, you've had two offensive coordinators, and they're going to fire the coach, which means they're going to bring in a new staff. So you're going to have to start all over again if you get the right person. You know, yeah, so. which is why they should have of fired the coach after they drafted him and just brought in a guy that that can work with QBs because yeah, this guy's a defensive guy. 
you know. Uh, yeah, and well, they they went out and got an offensive coordinator that they thought was uh, the good yeah. guy. That, that was his first year there, the offensive coordinator. Yeah, he'd it? been. I think he'd been in Seattle previously. Shane Waldron. Yeah, yeah, they brought him in because he could work with a young quarterback, and then of course he in Seattle he was working with an old quarterback, <laughs> nothing but old quarterbacks. So uh, what a goofy game. Oh, it was it was amazing. It was uh, I, you get a you get a really good game out of Darnold, mm-hmm. and you still end up not leading it by as much as they should have. Did you think? I mean, they oh, no. they dominate. It's yeah. three weeks in a row that they dominated the game more than the score indicated. That uh, you know the two the two previous ones were brutal, where they let the team stay in the game, but. Uh, I, I was I today though, Darnold's only had ten interceptions. We treat it like he's been this turnover machine. He fumbled it, uh, as I told somebody earlier. And when you come from my generation, you say ten interceptions. That's pretty good, you know. What, that's a what Sunday. The hell? If he throws fifteen or sixteen in the year, that's great. Eighteen. Yeah. You know, Fran had 32 his last year here. Tommy Kramer had 26 one year. And they didn't have the extra game either. Did Fran had, at the end of Fran's career, were we 16. up to 16? We yes. were up to 16. But yes. but at the start of his career, we were still playing 14, I think, uh, for about five, or six fewer years. For, or fewer, perhaps. Oh. In, in no, 61, no, uh, no. Uh, they went to, when they expanded... In sixty uh, one yeah. is when they went to twelve. When when then when they went to fourteen, I think. Okay. I okay. think they the Dallas's first year in sixty. I think they stuck to twelve, but I might be wrong. They might have played fourteen, but that's okay. it was expansion that caused them to but go. Yeah, to Yeah, you get the extra game now, and but the thing with Sam is he has ten of those uh, picks, Pat, in two games. Yeah, you know that and, Colts game and the Jaguars game. Well, the the and thing that offends you is the thing that offends you is they've been about half of them have been down at the end zone, right? That's that's the problem, right? They yeah, yeah they the were Jackson going into was, they were going into right. score a few times, but uh, hey, they're nine and two. We were worried about Arizona. Yep. Then Arizona goes out and gets six points yesterday. Kyler Murray returns to being kind. Of, he must have been back on his video game and not paid any Call attention Call of Duty to the came game. out. I think Call, you're right about that. You're right. A new Call of Duty came out, right, last yep. week? So, yeah, so uh, he's done with football for a while. That's probably it because uh, they put up six, 60 yep. to six, right? Where where were they? Who, who beat them? Seattle. In Se- Seattle, right? Se- was, it a yeah. lousy, was it a lousy weather day or not? I have no idea. Raining or something? But they're, they're now tied uh, with, so it's the Seahawks and Cardinals are tied for first place in the NFC West. I asked this question. Do you think in the Vikings' illustrious history, mm-hmm. they've ever been 9-2 and two and not in first place in the uh, NFC North Ooh. or the NFC Central? I'm point. wondering. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering, at least tied, you would think, uh, at, for first. Yeah, uh, probably not. Yeah. You're probably well, right. Now, Green Bay is going to get beat uh, uh, Thursday night down in Miami. They're, they go to Miami, right? They go to Miami. Let me see here. They're gonna, and Miami's got its act together now that two is uh, healthy and and lighten it up. Yes. They're, yes. they're scoring a lot of points, so they're going to get beat Thursday night. But they're 8-3, and three too, so. I don't know. As what Sid happened? Said, it's a crazy what, league. It is a crazy league. It's a crazy And what league. happened with Jordan Love? I didn't watch the end of it. I watched. I turned it on in the middle of the third quarter. They were like 14 to 10 or something. He was struggling. I look up this morning. They got 38 points. Uh, the, the, uh, something happened. They I exploded. think San Francisco ran out, out, out of steam. They're on fumes, Pat. They've got oh, nobody God, every, left. Everybody's hurt. Quarterback is, uh, uh, you know, I never heard of him. And you know, Brandon what, Allen. Brandon Allen, I ne- never heard of him. So, uh, and Purdy, yeah, they're they got they have no players. What uh, McCart- McCaffrey came back, but they, you know, what are they? Five and six, five and six, maybe. I think they. Uh, San Fran is right now five and six. And uh, as are the Rams, they, right? Because the Rams got beat up by Saquon Barkley and the Eagles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, unbelievable! Yeah, the Eagles are the uh, 
Uh, well, the Eagles are the next to Detroit, the hottest team around right now. They've Got won eight in a row or something like that. They look like something they were having like trouble to start the season, but uh, it's uh, anyway. The being nine and two and having three home games. Who you get outside of uh, Arizona? Who they got coming in? Well, they get Kirk and the Falcons. Oh, that's right. And then a Monday night game against the Bears again. Kirk's uh, last one wasn't too good, right? Uh, wasn't it? Was it last no. week? That... And then they have the bye, or had, oh, had they, the bye. They had the bye this week, and in Denver they were at an. Oh, he had his he had his first real clunker with the uh, with them at, at Denver. They've had a couple rough games with. And then I I don't know it's Kirk's fault, but they've definitely had, they're just you know what's weird. The Falcons, uh, they do so many odd things, like drafting a quarterback after signing Kirk and not addressing <laughs> yes. their defense, which is yes. what they should have done. Yes, yes, or get another offensive lineman or something to yeah. uh, help, help protect the quarterback you just got. Yeah. And if you wanted Penix, you probably could have traded up to about 18th or something like that uh, with one of your draft choice. Somebody would have let you add him if you want him. Why do you sign Kirk Cousins? uh, I have no problem with not signing Kirk and drafting Penix, but it makes no sense to pay. uh, If they don't make the playoffs, I bet that GM gets fired. I mean, because the GM didn't break the news to the owner that he was going to do this, right? You see him try I don't to know explain. What the story is, but yeah, you but, see him try to explain right. to the owner why the hell he did it, right? You could you, there's some video of that. Not exactly what they're saying to each other, right? But Arthur Blank does not seem terribly happy, and I don't think Arthur's a. You know, when you got Arthur's money, you're not a patient guy with, with no. uh, people who screw up. I don't think so. No, no anyway. No. Not at all. It was, uh, yeah, it was a strange, strange game. Now, I got to ask you a question. Yeah. Were you at the Huntington Bank Stadium uh, on uh, Saturday afternoon? I was watching on television. You did not uh, You did not I go did not, tailgate. I then. did not go tailgating. I did not partake. I watched it at home. Uh, what did you think of the uh, pass to the 335-pound tackle? You're gonna do that. So here, so I tried to explain this, or or I talked about this with Phil. If you're going to try that trick play, then how are you not all in to go for it? Yes. On fourth down, I yes. believe you're at the Penn State eight. And by the way, this game, I'm all for. It's not like you're gonna go to a great bowl game if you win, but it, you know, it, it's a better bowl game. But why wouldn't you go for it on fourth down then? Because I immediately texted. A couple of people, including Chip at the game, and I said, "How do they know they're getting the ball back?" Mm-hmm. Well, they, and then they uh, got suckered in on the uh, the the punt. punt uh, yeah, I which I give uh, Penn State credit for because if I was Penn State, I would have just lined up and told give it to Singleton and try to get the first down that way. I, I wouldn't have punted in that situation because Penn State didn't really show the ability. With Kessich p- uh, kicking, you know, yeah, he's as apt to make a fifty-three yarder as he is a twenty-eight yarder. So you gotta maybe more so. You can't let him make. They make two first downs, you might lose. So right, but uh, they they suckered our fellas in on that fake punt, didn't they? Yeah, but he chipped it a, a great uh, piece in Sunday's paper about the whole thing about the pass to the offensive tackle yes. and the fourth down. And, you know, PJ's so adamant about, I did the right thing here, and that's the right yes. thing to do. And I love like, the play call. I love the play call, yeah. and they practice it during the week. And uh, well, Good for you. You practice it during the week, and it worked. Did it you, didn't work when it mattered. Yeah, you could maybe hand it to Darius Taylor, and he might run it down to about the two, and then you're third, and third yes. down at the two, you know. Or so, if you're going to do a trick play, like the first trick play at least involved three guys that are skill position guys. Yes. Like, like, yeah, right. What are we doing? Yeah, exactly. everybody, all the PGA defenders are saying, well, they ran a trick play the previous time and they got a touchdown, but you're right. They were all athletes. They weren't 335-pound yeah. tackles. That, uh, But I think it, it, was a, it was a cry for uh, attention that it would have been, if it worked, it would have been national uh, news and uh, PGA would have been running around the sidelines and gotten a lot of publicity. And uh, it's... Uh, it, I guess I was surprised it was a one-point game, but I think I said that, uh, you know, they're going to cover. I I, I had no idea. I, I, I just don't think Penn State's that good. 
I've seen them a few times this year. They're good defensively, but they're not explosive offensively. Well, the quarterback's at all. a roller and, coaster. Yeah. He makes yeah, some real nice plays and, th- and then makes some plays I have no idea yeah, what he's doing. Yeah, he's not. Uh, I've, there's a couple of times I've watched him, he's been bad. But uh, and then he, but then a couple of times I watched him, it was in the first half, and then I'd switch, and then I'd come back, and they'd have a couple of more touchdowns in the in the second half. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, – I would say – now, we, we keep saying the over and under on this team was four and a half, which is crap. It was never four and a half with that non-conference schedule. But it was probably five and a half, right? Maybe, you know. But when we saw them, now you saw them against North Carolina, and the defense was really good, and they didn't do anything offensively. But once Brosmer turned out to be pretty good, Mm -hmm. this team was a lot, they had a lot more talent. And then if you look back at PGA's quotes from August and stuff, he loved this team, and it it didn't sound like his usual bull crap. So basically, six and five, you've gotten the least out of them right now. And if you go to Wisconsin, Wisconsin stinks. You go to Wisconsin and get beat Friday and go six and six, this is two straight years that you laid an egg, man. Last year it was even seven and five is not, you know, and winning the axe against a bad team. I keep saying the big 18, they're going to end up with three teams in the playoffs probably. I don't know about Indiana now. But they're going to end up with three teams in the playoffs. But the bottom 12 is never going to be this bad. UCLA and Southern Cal aren't going to be this bad. Michigan sure, certainly not going to be this bad. Michigan State shouldn't be this bad. Uh, you know, Purdue can't be this. Purdue this is incredible. probably bad for a while, but they're incredibly bad. Mm-hmm. I, the league is, the league is in Nebraska. You know, they finally lit somebody up Saturday, but uh, I, I just think that the league's going to get better. And you got to you can you. Last year, the uh, Big Ten West was this much better than the MIAC, and uh, and they ended up having a lousy year. And then this year, there were you know two, three winnable games that you didn't win. You and you go get beat at Rutgers, which kind of ruined the whole season. That's what. Yeah. And then you lost at North Carolina is now five and six or something like Max that. Max says he's they coming back. I'm not now sure he's invited, but. He claims he's I thought come he back. said I thought he said he wasn't coming back. At one point in time, it was re- reported that he was going to resign immediately, but I guess he said, "No, I never said that." And now I saw a story on ESPN.com today that says he's coming back. He plans to come back. Are they going to let him come back? I would not let him come back. No, no. I mean, well, they did win like two or three against mediocre teams in a row, and he probably got giddy again, and now they got beat again. But. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean it's uh, you look at UCLA and Southern Cal and say wow, but they're not going to be this bad again uh, as they are right now. Southern Cal is not going to be this bad. I can't believe they are. Although they could uh, ruin Notre Dame's uh, chances. They could, does, does Notre Dame play them in the last game of the season, or did they already them. play? Did they already play? Maybe they, they came. Might have played, but they I'll, usually I'll they either play the last game yeah. of the season at Southern Cal or. They play in the middle of the season at Notre Dame, so. But yeah, they I'm not, were definitely disappointing. I think maybe they close. I think maybe Notre Dame closes with Stanford or somebody, so they they'll win that one. And and let me uh, see here. I'll find it for you. Uh, yep. Nope. They play Saturday. Uh, they play host to the Irish at two thirty. Uh, oh, oh so Southern Cal. Southern Cal. Okay, Southern yeah. Cal does. Yeah. So, yep. so that's so they do play. Uh, I wonder how long. Southern Cal and Notre Dame, with Southern Cal being in the Big Ten, how long they're going to be able to maintain that series, which has been going on forever. Yeah. Because of the, you know, the Southern Cal, basically, to play Notre Dame, has to start its conference season earlier than everybody TV else, has right? to, TV, though, has to want it, right? Like, I mean, oh, that's, yeah. a, that's a oh, good sure. game to show, yeah. so... Probably yeah, I was there. Uh, to to do I think the only one I've ever seen was the Bush Push one. I was there for that one. Back when it was illegal, right? Yes. 
Yes. Yeah, it was supposed you couldn't to be. do it. Yeah, you couldn't push. do it, right? I am all yeah. for now making it illegal again. again I am I so am too. tired. I am too. Guys pushing guys forward. Why well, does TV like it? Is that why we don't make it illegal? I don't know. Or but do I'm they so think tired of it? Yes, I am too. And and I think we've. I think it's made its way to high school now. Once in a while, you see it. In oh, high I'm sure it has. Now. I'm sure mm-hmm. it has. So anyway, it was an eventful uh, football weekend, and now the uh, the uh, the golfs pretty much assured themselves of another lousy bowl game. And if they lose at Wisconsin, Detroit City, here we come. Yeah, I think right now they're projected, according to, to uh, something Phil found today, uh, Duke's Mayo Bowl, which is in okay. Carolina, right? Yes, I think it's, I think it's in Charlotte. Well, okay. is that based on beating Wisconsin or losing to Wisconsin? It's just the you current projection. You can't so project You can't project until you know how the game oh, comes out. No, they right? project every week, Pat, it changes. <laughs> we get projections based off of every game and not the game after that. Okay. Well, Wisconsin has got to be, I mean, they fired Christ, got this high-profile coach, Fickle. They yeah. stink. He They're blew terrible. He two weeks ago? Yeah, he, yeah, he blew and out his OC. done by Nebraska. And, and how about this? Oh, they gave up how, 43 to Nebraska, right? How about Nebraska? This is so sad. First of all, the, the, what, they're... They can go to bowl game for the first time since 2016. But furthermore, yes. they're storming the field because they can go to any bowl game. Nebraska. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize they stormed the field. Yes, they stormed they the field. They did? Oh, God. Once the once one of the gold standard programs in yes. college football. Tom Osborne's rolling over in his grave and he's not even dead yet. That's unbelievable. Devaney. Poor Devaney. I know. His skeleton's going to rise from the grave and say, stop, get back. That's awful. Yes, sir. There has, you know, I think conferences Mm -hmm. should now start issuing edicts before the game, depending on the depth of the game. If Minnesota defeats number five rated Penn State, they can rush the field. If Nebraska beats Wisconsin, they can't rush the field. You got to have a standard for field rushing, don't you think? I love that. I love that. Yes. And, and the problem now is, and I, I think this took place at the Arizona State game on Saturday. We're now getting premature rushes of the oh, field. Oh yes. And so yes. we. So we've got all of these clowns on the sidelines while we're trying to clear the field to finish the game. Yes. And this Dillingham coach down there, I don't know where they got him, and they're 9-2. Mm-hmm. But he does – I didn't uh, – Manny Hill checked in with me and said, are you watching this game? This guy's the biggest screwball of all time. He's trying to lose it. And I think a week before he got all kinds of heat for doing goofy stuff too. Really? But he's nine and two, so they love him, I'm sure. So because they meanwhile, the other Arizona's terrible, right? Aren't they winless or something? They're terrible. Arizona. Oh, That's uh, you know, know who the coach there is, don't you? Jed Fish, our old uh, isn't that Jed Fish? No, I think Jed. Or, no, Jed he Washington. went to Washington. He went to Washington. He escaped. Maybe he was at Arizona State and he only was down there a couple of years. So Jed's yeah, incredible. I'd, uh, yeah, it is. Uh, uh, he was he was with Brew, right? Wasn't he Brew's re- offensive coordinator one year? I think he was one of like four. Yeah, yeah. Well, the first one was the guy that was going to uh, uh, run the uh, run and shoot, basically offense. Remember that? And then he coached the first year, and they went one and eleven. They were terrible, uh, obviously. Yep. And then the next year, they were seven and one. And then they lost their last four, including fifty-five nothing to Iowa, which was the by the way stands as the worst ever Gopher Big Ten defeat, not their worst ever defeat, but Big Ten defeat. Okay. And uh, yeah, you. And then he the and worst. then he demoted the offensive coordinator and brought in a guy to we're going to play power football in the bowl game. Uh, that you know he changed his mind. Unfortunately, he had drafted all these 180. I mean, he had signed all these 180 guys, fast guys from Florida with 0.13 uh, G- GPAs. You know, the so Arizona coach is Brent Brennan. First season, Ooh, I have never, never heard, heard of Brent Brennan. 
Wow. No, I haven't either. But they uh He's 51. That how about the new Big 12? They got all those teams and uh they're going to only get one team in the uh playoff. They're going to only get the You're champion. wasting your time if you're not in the Big 10 or SEC. SEC this is yeah. a whole waste of time for well, you. They might only let one in from the SEC. Now, although last weekend Alabama getting humiliated by Oklahoma, which was bad, uh they they probably they aren't going to make it now, I don't think. So, how the hell did that happen? I don't know. Twenty-four to three or something like that. I, I flipped. How do past you think it. the Kalen deal? You think Kalen DeBoer is wishing he still stayed at Washington, where he was a wow. hero? Because they're gonna. I got news for him. There's gonna be dead stuff in his lawn if, the, if this is. Uh, if if they get beat by Auburn next week, uh, or this week, unbelievable. He won't get yeah. much time too. Oh no no no! A couple no. years, They're, like like if you're not yeah good. next year yeah if he's not good this year then next year all of them because they don't care about how much money it is so somebody will somebody will give them the money to fire him down there that's the thing yeah like A and M fired Jimbo Fisher and they owed him seventy two million okay two oil guys called him up and said here's Bobby the Jones writes a check yeah we'll we'll write the check so uh, by the way TV. Uh, you're always on the outlook for TV series. Billy Bob's new one, but I think you guys got Apple? No. You got Apple? No. I think it's on I Apple. it was Paramount. Oh, no, it's Paramount. Which we also don't oh. don't have. Landman. Pretty good. good. Pretty Billy good. Bob's very good. He's very weird, but he's very good. Di- dialogue is fantastic. And, uh, you know, his daughter's a 17-year-old harlot, I've seen, basically. I've seen and, some of the uh, clips. His wife's a... A uh, divorced wife. She's a harlot, and uh, it's a it's a great look at the oil business in in Texas. And I I think it it's not a parody. I don't. Th- I think it's pretty accurate. So yeah, it's 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 pretty good. I got I, a question for you. What? If you're an actor, okay, mm-hmm. why would you do un- unless you're struggling? Why would you do a network show when everything on streaming looks so much better and like more fun to actually do? Yes, and it's also watched. They'll, uh, I mean, yeah. network TV shows. I can't remember the last time I watched one. Yeah. Have you ever watched one? I mean, sometimes, I mean, I not, not sometimes now I'll stumble onto one. Like if I'm watching uh, one of these, one of these streaming sites, and it happens, and it's a series, but I don't, I don't. I don't know how many of those I have, but yeah, but the, uh, you know, if you're on a streaming service and you're in a series, you can say anything you want to. Correct. You can have naked boys and girls running around. You can do the, who's ever writing for them. They can write anything they want to and get it in. So, yeah. Yeah. But this uh, Landman's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm, uh, I recommend it. uh, And Billy Bob is, uh, it's funny they're using even though I'm sure Billy Bob is a uh, is a lefty I, I would guess because uh, he seems concerned about things but the lingo is all uh, you know Texas right wing hardcore yeah. you know stuff so uh, good actor, man. it's it's very authentic it's good it's good hey your thoughts oh. your thoughts on our woofies I want to ask you about this so so we we talked on friday and Mm -hmm. after what gobert didn't get the ball passed to him by julius and he decided to take essentially on purpose a three second call game tied at 95 whole thing Mm -hmm. blows up no one is there for the most part really to cover it so everyone gets their story straight and by saturday saturday harmony and then they lose against boston basically say we don't believe in them, but this was a moral victory. This was a, yes, I, I never thought that uh, our team that made the Final Four last year would be declaring moral victories, <laughs> yeah. but uh, yeah. that's what they had to do. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, too bad. Uh, I don't, how many reporters? I know Chris Hine was in Boston. Was Johnny K there, too? That I don't know. Okay, but but, Chris uh, was, yeah. but they had their whole story together by then. Everything and, was uh, together. Ru- he- heck, Julius has been to Rudy's house. I know, I know. So there, there's no dissension so they must be there. best friends. 
Rudy went to his house and had dinner. Or so I oh, assume God. he had dinner. So, I mean, he went to Rudy's house to have dinner. So Man, did they dodge it, though. Oh, they did, yeah. Did they dodge it by now? And the other you know, thing is, the other thing is, even if you were there when they arrived in Boston, they I, they had, I don't think they did anything on Saturday, right? They didn't have a practice. They didn't have any access, I don't think. Well, Hein wrote so for, I, sat for Sunday, so they, they must have practiced. Oh, well, Saturday they did, but Friday. They oh, Friday, lost. no, 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 Friday, no. Friday was no no access. Friday Nobody, was deep. Let's get our story straight, Day. Nobody, Finchie wasn't on Zoom or anything to talk about it from Prague. They, nope. they just took the day off. But Finchie's having a tough year. He is. I agree wholeheartedly. He doesn't. Is, he hasn't figured it out. They have not figured it out how to play with Randall. They have not. And Nas, you know, they get. When Nas is chucking up those threes and they're yeah. going in, it looks good, but. He hasn't been making them lately, and uh, I don't know. They are uh, they got issues. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Dillingham finally got a little time yesterday out of desperation. But, and, you know, he, he apparently I, – I didn't watch much of it, but apparently he, he was he looked pretty good offensively, but he's he's about 5'8". He's not, you know, he what, 5'10 or something. He's going to have trouble guarding people. Yeah. But Boston is uh, – they're different cats, man. 107, lowest point total of the year for them. They're oh, just they're shooting. 50 just shooting threes a game? 50 threes a game, yeah. And everybody they put out there shoots threes. Hi, even ancient Al Horford, if he's down in the corner, he's throwing up threes. Mm -hmm. And they're just shooting them all. And you can do that when you make 35% of them, I guess, which they do. They got They got great shooters. Yep, but the I, Wolves the, came back and got a uh, moral victory. I just like Yeah, that. well, I turned on the game, and they, they'd they been within, like, three and the third quarter, and all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. They made three threes, you know, Boston. But uh, now, I didn't see the finish. Did we have a chance? Oh, a Nas yeah, had Nas. a shot, right? Man. Nas had a shot. Yeah. And uh, it... Yep. Uh, and I don't know if he just missed it or rimmed out or what happened, but uh, Boston must have, must have got a little careless because they had it pretty comfortable there for a while. I think it all depends on Ant's attitude, though, don't you? If yeah. Ant stays bought in, yep. they'll be okay. But if Ant says, I don't like all this crap that's going on, then they, then we well, got issues. But that that's that's where I think your point comes in, too. Where is Finchie here? Like... Gobert yes. purposely took. Yes. He purposely cost them a possession. Yeah, he walked. He and, walked. He and walked. He, took a foul. he walked out of the uh, of the lane slowly enough to make it the ref to bring it yeah. to the ref's attention that he'd been because you can be in there for five seconds basically. Yeah, it's not like. But he he made a point of walking out of there slow. He can be childish, man. He's done some he goofy that. things. But then he goes down to the other end and hip checks the guy. Yeah, and nothing happens. Like you got to take him yes. out. You don't. You don't know what happened on Friday. You don't know if they confronted him or just said we got. Supposedly get it they did, but I mean we still don't know much. And and the funniest thing, Pat, was you can't game, find it. You can't find a guy, even if you could. What 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 do you I'm find him? A million dollars? A million dollars? Is that that's the time? Yeah. Point time. But post game, Pat, on on Thursday, the Wolves actually put th this on. The only person there w was the FanDuel Sports reporter yes. asking Randall questions. And you ever watch those and you could tell the guy wants to talk a lot? Like he was yes. pissed. And he wanted to talk. And she never asked him about she would, she would what allow happened. It. And, and he volunteered up with, we have to be more professional. Like, he wanted to go down the he path. Wanted to, he wanted and we to were tell, like, no, don't go down that no, path. No, no, don't tell us about. Uh, so this issue was never brought up? So the uh, passing that, issue was never asked, at least on the stream. Okay. Or the, All right. yeah, the video. And then post-game, only Finchie talked? Or wait? Well, we Randall don't know. talked in the locker room, because I oh, saw okay. it. But okay. but like ordinarily you would go to Gobert, you would go to Randall, yes, you would go to yes. Ant. None of that. It it all it all though does remind me of your story about was it the Piper's coach? 
Yes. Don't go yes. in there. Gus Young, you can't come in here. There's dissension in here. <laughs> <laughs> that's, no. that's what Finchie should have been. Hey, you can't come in here. There's dissension in here. Uh, Ant was, I'll give Ant credit. He jumped Rudy's lunch right there in the middle of the court and screamed at him. But uh, I don't know. You know, bottom line, I, hey, by the way, how about the cat man in Utah? Minus 34. My, they, they, get, they got their doors blown off by Lori Markinen. He was a minus 34, and Josh Hart was a minus 37. I'm sure Tibbs it, took it well. I'm sure Tibbs took it well. He just kept playing them, I'm sure. <laughs> but anyway. The minutes. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, and, it, and it's, it's a reminder, okay, Taylor Swift was in town, and the hotel rooms were $1,000 apiece. But it's a reminder of why newspapers for yes. 50 years have sent reporters on the road with teams. Because, yes, you know, I always talk, Sinky and I were on, the, I was for St. Paul and he was for Minneapolis in the middle of September of 80, what was, when did we finally fire Slick, 85? Was it 85 when they had Steve Howe? And they yeah. were going nowhere. Middle of September, yeah, they were, right. you know, they were buried. They were no good at all. And there was no reason to be there. But then Steve Howe disappears, <laughs> goes oh, out, right. goes out with a cocaine thing, and for three days we're trying to find him. Went on Nightline, right? To talk about his yeah, recovery. Yeah, go on Nightline <laughs> to talk about his recovery, and. Sinky and I, I was from St. Paul, and we were both desperate to talk to people. And I got a hold of Pete Gent, who was on the panel with him. And somehow I got a number. I don't know how. And Sinky got a hold of somebody, too. So we kind of shared those quotes. But I'm <laughs> the I'm going back to my room one night. The elevator opens, and R.D. is there. And R.D., and I said, R.D., <laughs> You you knew how what what is you know anything about how you know where he was? He said, "No, no, I I can't believe that it's it's drugs." He said, "We were out power drinking that night till four, but he didn't use any cocaine." So I said, ah, "R.D., I've I've been through uh, treatment, and I don't." I don't think the way you stay off cocaine is getting drink until 4 a.m. Then the temptation might rise. So anyway, oh, yeah, it, but that's why you're there, right? Right. Because goofy stuff might happen. A lot of times it's routine. and Right. Then but you, can, you can write a 12-inch story and go home. But, but the uh, worst thing is, too, it is bad sports karma when nobody goes from a paper or site, right? Like yes. nobody was there. The Athletic, the Star Tribune, the Pioneer, I don't Pioneer think. Press. It travels, didn't travel that much. But, but like you are asking, the, the sports karma guys, yes, right, you are yeah. asking them for a for some type of controversy. And uh, yeah, but the Wolves, that's going to be one of the great stories that we'll never know anything about. <clears throat> well, Hein should have told me that... Uh... That he couldn't get a hotel for less than a thousand, I would have got him to stay at Sharkman's house. He could have should have slept on the couch at Sharkman's. What the heck? And covered the game. So, yeah, it was bad that uh, no, because I'm sure that who's ever covering it for Canadian press didn't really give a damn about the controversy involved with the Timberwolves, right? Yeah. So wrong sport, right? Yes. Yeah. Like if that had been the Leafs, uh, they're I mean, all over they, it, and they're covering a Raptors game, but. The guy's gonna go talk to the Raptors coach because yeah. they won, right? That's yeah. all, that's all you're gonna do. So, yeah, that was a bad situation to say the least. That was good. It was good for the Wolves. They're, oh God, they were thrilled. I'm sure. Eight and eight. Uh, I don't know what. A, what's our attitude about them? Well, after after what we have seen at eight and six, I thought okay, because I mean, okay. technically record wise, Pat, they should be fine. But yes. but when this starts to, starts to creep in, it's two years ago. It's the same stuff, and it yeah. took them a year the last time to sort of get used to Gobert. So like, are yes. we are we back on that track? Yeah, it's different for sure. 
Randall, I've been saying this, Randall needs the ball more than Cat did. Cat, would you'd throw it to him, Cat would look to see if he had a shot for about three seconds, and then he'd go take off on one of his goofy drives. But he didn't hold the ball for five, six seconds at the at the corner of the lane there and, and try to get guys on his back and stuff like that. Plus, Randall has one problem. He thinks he's a shooter, and he's not. He's not a three-point shooter. So, Yeah, I also think he has a – well, and, and Cat did too – I also think he's got a tendency to pout if he doesn't get what he wants, which mm-hmm. is what Gobert does. So, like, you know, let's just all I be adults. Cat, I, I thought Cat actually got better. At he the, did, but, but last, he was still. at the end of the year, he, you know, when he didn't get his points, he was, you know, he decided to enjoy Ant, I think, instead of. And do you think opposing. Finch is like? Do, do you think? Finchie's like despondent about this. Like it, it just doesn't seem like there's a lot of, and you know, b- behind the scenes it could be totally different, but who knows just what's going on. Yeah. But it scene. just doesn't seem like there's a lot of, okay, I'll fix this. There's a lot of, okay, we'll see what happens. Just feels like that. Yeah. he's And, and I think that's his, uh, he's very good at actually, there were a few times last year where he got a little prickly about his team. I haven't seen much of that this no, year. That's what I'm know? saying. There's yeah. not, there, there's nothing really. So uh, I I don't know. They're, they, they, but they got a four game homestand now. It'll be interesting to see if they fill up the arena. And I, they will this week. It's Thanksgiving week. Yeah. It's always the best time to be for a sports team to be home. Meanwhile, yep. the one team that's not disappointing us, your hockey team. It's incredible. The other night, they're down two goals with two minutes to go. And they. End up getting a point anyway. What without is going Caprice on? Off, Pat. Uh, without Caprice without off. What is going on here? Was a gorilla. I think the chemistry, the culture that we the had culture. at Target Center last year, last year somehow has made its way to St. Paul. St. Paul, where we it, didn't have a good culture. And the usual year. friction that exists at the X has yes. now infiltrated the Wolves. And you know what else? The goalies are stopping pucks, which helps too, because oh, they God, didn't yeah. do that last year, right? But they're playing on the same page. I've never. It's been years since I've seen this camaraderie. Yes, where they're actually, yes. They get down by a couple, and they're like, "We'll come back." Yeah, my guy Goudreau got two the other night, right? Where they won, he's, he got having two. A, he's back. He's he's having a really nice year. Wow, he's unreal. A really nice. It's year. uh, it's it's. I I was saying, you know the, the uh. The of course, when the season started, we all said, "Look out for the wild." The wolves might have no nothing. Nothing we yeah. said. Oh, yeah. look at the links. Somebody mentioned this to me. The links were supposed to stink. Yeah, you know? Sports is great. The Vikings. The Vikings yes. are going to win. Yeah, the Vikings are going to win six and a half. Yeah, six and a half over and under. That's what makes sports great. I yes, it is. I always say. You know what's going to happen unless it doesn't. Yep. Yeah. You know? Which, which and, very uh, often is the case. Now, uh, our goal for basketball game, I don't think we expect it to be very good, and I doubt if we're going to be surprised. Now, I read the Star Tribune today, and all yes. I know is they next have a recruiting year. class coming for next year that if they don't make the Final Four, Ben Johnson's in trouble. Now, here's the trouble, though. Didn't we? We had the uh, five star center coming. Yeah. And he committed, and he signed. Yep, yep. But if they say they don't want to come, you pretty much got to let them out of them now, right? I yeah. mean, so maybe these three guys get a better offer with more money, and they just they just call up and say, "Hey, coach, I'm gonna go someplace else." And you pout about it, but you got to let them leave. You got to let them go, right? Or if you don't let them go, a year here. And if say, you don't, hey, if I- you don't, if you don't let him go, you say you have a sick uncle, and then you, you know you got to get it out. He, who lives in Kentucky, which pays more money. So yeah, if somebody comes along with the cash, but I mean, there's no yeah. gu- guarantee these kids will stay past their freshman year, right? No, even if they show up, yeah, it's, like it's uh, a great place to play a lot, prove yourself, and then get the hell out of Dodge. I feel sorry for him, man. I, oh, the, it's impossible. Last year they had something. You could look at them and say, yeah, they're all back. It'll be pretty good. <laughs> Everybody left. Everybody left. And now the other day, somebody showed an aerial 
for a, a shot from upstairs in the game. They couldn't have had more than 2,000 people in there. Why would you want to be, unless you're at a blue blood program, why would you want to be a college basketball coach? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. It's, I mean, it's uh, like, be, it, it's the equivalent now of, of back in the day, like the CBA, right? Yes. Like, you're, like your roster just blows up. Yeah. Turn yeah, over. it's, it's, uh, it's it's ridiculous, and there's no, there's nothing to get you. I mean, you, could, our guy Marcus can write all he wants to about this great recruiting class. Nobody's gonna be invested until they see him actually on the court, because people right. who pay attention, well, nobody's gonna be invested anyway. Because God love them. If this team goes better than three and seventeen in the Big Ten, I'll be shocked, because they sad. stink. I know. I mean, they they got. I know. They they can just, you know, they got the guys injured and Dawson Garcia's good player, good player, but man alive, and the level of interest is just nothing. I had about five years ago. I was saying nothing changed more in this town than go for hockey, right? Because we used to be a big deal, and right. the newspapers covered it. We still don't cover it like we should, but. Now they're Motsko, they're great again. Yep. But bas- now, now. now nothing's changed like go for basketball. And that goes back beyond but before Ben yeah. got here. That's the last ten years basically. Well, kids used to like like kids used to be here what, three or four four years? Yes. You got to know them. Like the roster, like you could name the starters. Yes. Now it's just, you know, the team that had mild success last year is basically all gone. Like Parker Fox, Parker Fox, the Parker Foxes of the world used to be good yeah. stories because they yes. occasionally got to play. Yeah. Now he's in he's year seven. Now he's, he's in year yeah. seven. And he's a key player. And, yeah, he and that's is. no insult to him, but no. I mean, you're go for hockey was, was a bummer because they used to draw, then they didn't. But, you know, but they still got kids. They still got the good players. I mean, this is just... I, I got a scoop for you. Yeah. I've been talking to members of the Turkey Selection Committee. They're ha- really struggling with what's, what to say about college sports in general. Beyond, I don't give a damn. The, right. The, right. Whoever, I said uh, to the committee member, maybe you have a different idea than I, but I don't give a damn anymore. I don't care. Right. I watched, I watched 15 minutes of the Gopher game. I was pretty proud of myself because the other thing is, if it's on YouTube TV, you can just look at the key plays, which makes life a lot easier. You can just they just show you what happened. There so, you go. I don't know. It's uh, it. Well, where is it going to go? Where is college sports going to go? I mean, I have no idea. I won't live to see it. I mean, but football 10 years from, needs to be a pro sport. Like, yes. like, like we need to get rid of all this crap. Well, and then the, that's why I don't know. And then the 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 next, you got, you know, two leagues that are now running it. Yep. And then you got a couple other leagues, but beyond the top forty schools, you got to have it's got to be something else. They have to have different rules, right? Yeah. You got to have a forty team league that plays it off or something. It's. Uh, I mean, do. Do you make it more like FCS for for the bigger, you know, the bigger but not dominant programs? Maybe you should put them in FCS. That'd be but fun. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Like adopt those rules. Like I, yeah. I don't know, but but this is ridiculous because you've got about three, what, maximum three or four conferences that actually matter at all. Two yes. two that are huge and are gonna continue to swallow up teams. And then you got the rest of the thing, and it's just I don't know. Yeah, the Big Ten is going to end up. Uh, I would think that Notre Dame is going to have to find a league here, don't you? And either the Big Ten or the or the they're not going to go to the ACC. So it's probably. I think the Big Ten might add Notre Dame and North Carolina, something like. Which that. would make some sense because an NBC is now in bed with the Big Ten, and yes. they've got the contract with Notre Dame. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if that's part of that eventual grand plan and maybe you can have a you know 
two teams in the league only have to play seven conference games or something. And it's still fun to watch for me. But I mean, to your point about, I have no idea what they're going to do. The whole thing seems to be screwed up. And, and college basketball, in my opinion, has taken a huge hit. It's not fun to watch anymore. No, it's not. It's not. It's a mess. Hey, before yeah. you go, well, you don't have any. I you don't have any identity of who's right. playing where. For yeah, it doesn't sake. matter. It doesn't matter. Yes, you know where. You know where we got stability, though, don't you? No, where's that? The Valley Group of GM oh, dealers. Of course, Jim Paul, Brett Paul. The Paul family has uh, owned these dealerships for a long time. They're uh, very uh, great business people. They keep a staff together. They got veteran. Staff members, men and women, selling the cars. They got them back in the shop. They got them at the used car uh, dealer's uh, place there that uh, out in Apple Valley. Uh, you know, lots of great used cars. I, bu- I bought a couple of used cars there, and then my relatives have bought some, too, and friends. And uh, they're terrific. They keep those in terrific shape, uh, terrific deals on those, but also... The I look I was looking at their inventory at Apple Valley the other day. You're looking for one of those Sierra trucks. You're looking for a Canyon truck. You're looking for an SUV. There's a lot of good stuff. You can go out there and get it right now. You won't have to wait for delivery. The um, you know it's great and the uh, the truck a lot big rebates coming on some of the trucks and uh, big rebates on the SUVs. Four different sizes of SUVs right now. Low interest rates. Big rebates, a lot of plenty of stock. What else do you want? The Valley Group of GM dealers, Apple Valley and Hastings. I wish I had the guts to get one of these big old trucks, man. You'd have to get away from me when I was going down oh. the road on that son of a gun. And all the snow, snow you want, all the Bang. snow you want to bring, I wouldn't have been just throwing snow up against your windshield, baby. You would drive for the sake of driving. Yes, Jim Paul and Brett Paul, Valley Group of GM dealers. So what? what's the status Speaking of, of driving, the column? What's speaking, the status? Uh, we're, uh, we're sitting down for tomorrow. We, we, uh, la- uh, the, the turkey chairman woke up at 2 a.m. this morning. He's, I get, he gets very nervous at this time of year. And he, he texted can't, me at 2 in the morning. 2 in the morning. And uh, I was up for, uh, the, the turkey chairman was up for an hour and a half writing down, which he'd written. I have about three newspapers upstairs that I've written up uh, up on top. I hope the wife doesn't throw them away because uh, that's a, it's a pretty good list. But then last night I finally, I started texting stuff to myself <laughs> to remind me that. when yeah. I had my cell phone down there. So I think we're in pretty good shape, but uh, there's a pretty good chance that uh, people on one side of the political aisle aren't going to like the satire that exists. But we'll we'll see how it turns out. That uh, tomorrow is the day, so uh, we'll we'll All see right. how it goes. Year forty seven coming up. Year forty seven. And year, and year and five since since uh, it, it was going to end. Yes, I think so. And now we're just back to what it was. We 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 stopped explaining that it was that it ended, and now we just now it's like it never did end. But uh, it's uh, you know it 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 it, it's kind of funny that you got this new audience that don't quite get it that it's that it's all fun and satire and. And uh, you, you shouldn't get as angry as you do, but then, what the hell? I don't, I don't really care. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it, it, here's here's what I got. I have to, I have sent this to everyone at the paper and said, unlike a few years ago, please don't have whoever writes the summary put it in the summary online as to who won. That was. Uh, that kind of took all the fun. Yeah, you got to warn them of that. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. Because we have, we have people writing our summaries now that I don't think are on the sports desk. They're from some other place, and you'll look on Twitter X and say, "What? <laughs> what? This this isn't what it says. This isn't what it says." But uh, or worse, the the person that wins is just in 
the summary or headline. That would be yeah. The real well, disaster. that no, that did happen a yeah, couple of that's few what years I'm saying. ago. That's the real disaster. And that was seven, eight years ago. And I, uh, I glanced at it at midnight and called. And there's nobody to call to say. Oh, no, there's uh, not. The only reason we do this is for the punchline. Okay, you know, unbelievable. Anyway, anyway, this ain't easy. This is there's a lot of pressure. I can't sleep for two, three days before this thing and comes to, up. And to think you started this entire project so so, so that I you could, could drink. go drink and it was easy. <laughs> yes, you go yeah, it was easy. You give Created it a monster. Yes. It's not my fault that the first year was Woody Hayes and he ended up a week later trying to garret I mean, a month later trying to kill somebody on the sideline and made it predictive of behavior. So <laughs> But to remind everybody, the turkey is unbeaten because it either people who win either continue to be jerks or they're motivated to be better, right? Right. Exactly right. Like when PJ won it and then they beat Wisconsin two days later, people thought that was an embarrassment for the turkey committee. No, I finally got him to beat Wisconsin, you know? improve yourself go beat the badgers although this year if you don't beat the badgers uh i don't think we can give him a raise can we if he doesn't beat the badgers oh, got it. i would hope not but but it's a great game on that traditional friday yes the traditional black <laughs> always love the friday gopher game it was iowa and nebraska yeah but uh they stopped doing that because i don't even know if they play now iowa and nebraska I I do no they play idea. saturday i don't know i have no I idea, idea. Anyway. All righty. All righty. Okay. Go. I wonder you. is your hockey team up at home tomorrow night? No, tonight oh, against the, the Jets. Monday night against. Oh, the best team in hockey it's playing the, two the best second teams. best team. Wow. Just Man, as we I'm predicted. F- yes, right. The Jets. And, were the Jets supposed to be good? No, they were, they were supposed to be a fringe playoff team. Wow. There's, are they still only lost two? Uh, I well, think they I'll were seventeen my, and two at one time. I'll check I my start. They are seventeen four and oh, oh really? So they're kind of slipped four, here because they were four points and, up. Four points up on our boys. Okay, what a what a that's just like the NFC North. It's loaded. Our division is loaded. Everyone's good except for the Wolves. Okay, see you. All right, see you. Goodbye.